A pipeline explosion Saturday in Port Arthur is prompting some people to take a closer look at pipeline safety. KFTM reporter Leslie Rangel spoke with a man who has made it his cause to ensure families remain safe. Mr. Darcy uh, lives over there, Mr. Walter Darcy. He's a man about 86 or 87 years old. Warren Field knows just about everyone on his street by name. A lot of older families live here, and he feels it's his calling to look out for their peace of mind and safety. He's concerned about their safety in light of Saturday's pipeline explosion on West Port Arthur Road. Today, crews are replacing the damaged section of the pipeline. Have you ever heard the roar of a diesel engine? Most of those uh, heavy equipment that come through here and use this uh, disturb these folks. They can't get their adequate rest. Pipelines are already part of the landscape here in southeast Texas, but with new pipelines popping up, Field says his concern is with the well-being of nearby residents. You don't see how these people are affected in terms of uh, cancer, in terms of respiratory uh, problems, uh, the amount of money that families can ill afford to pay for those uh, medicine costing up to eight hundred and three hundred dollars. Those responsible for safeguarding families say they can draw upon a lot of experience. Our fire department has probably some of the most trained, experienced, hazardous material uh, first responders in the in in the area, if not the state and nation. Safety is also the top priority of Warren Field. But we know that we have to live with them. Only thing we asking them to do is make sure that they spruce, spruce up their safety their concerns with us and be transparent and open with us. In Port Arthur, Leslie Ringel, KFDM 6 News. No one was hurt in Saturday's pipeline explosion.